hello everyone we are done with the autotrophic nutrition and all the sub topics of the autotrophic nutrition and you all know that we are taking here the life processes so in the life processes which is the chapter now we will start with the heterotrophic nutrition start in the sense ki we will discuss in detail the heterotrophic mode of nutrition because in general we have discussed that the consumers they are having the heterotrophic mode of nutrition as they depend directly or indirectly over the plants heterotrophic mode of nutrition it is what where the organisms they depend on other organisms for their nutritional requirements and the different types of heterotrophic nutrition we have discussed and the most complex type advanced type that is the holozoic mode of nutrition which is of our concern because we the human beings we the homo sapiens we are having holozoic mode of nutrition that is completed in five steps ingestion digestion absorption assimilation and ejection right so holozoic mode of nutrition is of our concern we have to take care of these five steps we have to remember and the mechanisms also because holozoic mode of nutrition it is present in amoeba that is in our syllabus it is present in the human beings that is also in our syllabus so we have started the heterotrophic nutrition here and actually this is the fourth video of the series life processes i have written here life processing okay so you just assume processes right you know better now this is what this is the picture of the herbivore actually i just want to show you the types of organisms who are heterotrophs so based on the feeding habits the heterotrophs they are being categorized into herbivores carnivores and omnivores so this point you all know from very earlier classes right the herbivores carnivores and omnivores you all know ki who are herbivores carnivores and omnivores herbivores which feed on the plants which only feed on the plants herbivores right you can example you can give example as the goat cow now herbivores are whom they are the primary consumers so this topic you will you know the consumers primary consumers secondary consumer and tertiary consumer you will get to know you will get to know in the chapter that is our environment so herbivores they are the primary consumers which directly dependent on the plants now come to the carnivores carnivores are whom who eat herbivores or lower carnivores meat eating animals flesh eating animals isn't it so these are the organisms which you can recognize as the 
carnivorous animals right now what we are discussing we are discussing the types of heterotrophs on the basis of their feeding habit equally important so you have to consider the examples here you know through the examples you better clarify your answer so here you can like uh, write the example of loin tiger etc as the carnivore and let's come to the omnivore here omnivores are who omnivores they can eat plants they can eat animals so omnivores they are the animals who can survive through any mode like they eat herbs yani plants they eat the plant products they eat the if they don't get the plant products they can eat the meat as well so they can eat anything they can be like uh, they can survive anyhow so these are the examples of the omnivore we the human beings we are also the omnivores so these are the three types of organisms three types of heterotrophs which we have discussed just consider the example say i will not take much time for yours for this topic because you all know this now come to the nutrition in amoeba actually the heterotrophic nutrition it is lengthy to discuss because we are having the nutrition in amoeba here and nutrition in human beings and nutrition in human beings it is a lengthy topic right so in this video we will discuss the nutrition in amoeba nutrition in amoeba it is the holozoic mode of nutrition amoeba they are holozones right and here the nutrition it is completed into ingestion digestion absorption assimilation and ejection we have written this po these points in the prior slides as well so i am writing here this in short hmm? just to conserve our time because time is precious isn't it okay so if you want to learn and remember the nutrition in amoeba just take care of the diagrams because diagrams it is it says everything here you have to prepare for the diagrams as well right so let's come to the ingestion ingestion is what the intake of food material inside the body ingestion is what the intake of food material inside the body so what happened here just see amoeba it is having the pseudopodia the cellular invaginations so amoeba throws the pseudopodia around the food particle suppose this is the food particle so amoeba throw the pseudopodia around it right and here you can see that these pseudopodia they gradually meets right they meets like this and this food particle this one along with the water it comes inside in the form of food vacuole so this is food vacuole which comes inside and this is called as phagosome the other name of it it is called as phagosome i just try to give you additional knowledge as well in my videos so this is phagosome and this process of en engulfment children this is called as phagocytosis this term is used many times in the ninth standard of the chapter cell how the unicellular organism how the cell engulf the food that is phagocytosis which is a type of endocytosis so this is what phagocytosis it is the engulfment of food now this much you have to cover up for the ingestion ingestion in the ingestion process the food vacuole it comes inside 
the food vacuole it comes inside as the phagosome that is ingestion now what happens in the digestion now we will till here the food vacuole it comes in in the form of phagosome and that is the uh, like ingestion now come to the digestion this much you have to write for the ingestion now come to the digestion in the digestion what will we write let's take some another color we are not having much options for the color here ma'am is not that much techno savvy you know okay so digestion is what digestion is a process in which the enzymes digestive enzymes they enter inside the food vacuole so digestive enzymes they are present in the cytoplasm and they enter the food vacuole to digest the material so through the diffusion the digestive enzymes they enter the food uh, they enter in the food vacuole and that we have to write in the process of digestion digestive enzymes entered right so after when they reached what the digestive enzymes reached the vacuole in, inside the vacuole they break down the material into the simple forms because enzymes they are having the role of this only right so suppose this is the food vacuole inside the amoeba and food material it is present so it is it gets break down into the simple forms like this by the action of enzyme enzymes enzymes they are the biocatalysts i will let you know for the enzymes when we will discuss the nutrition in human beings in detail right so enzymes for now just remember enzymes they are the chemicals which enhances the rate of the reactions and here the digestive enzymes they are having the role in the breakdown of the food so here the breakdown of the food it takes place and the food it converted into the simple forms that happens in the process of digestion so this much you have to write in the process of digestion now let come to the absorption we will discuss now the absorption in the process of absorption what happened i have let you know that now the food material it is like this inside the vacuole it is like this because it is being digested by the digestive enzymes so now the food material it comes suppose this is the vacuole inside which the food material it is present so it comes in the cytoplasm it comes in the cytoplasm of the cell in the process of absorption this is absorption where the simple forms which are being converted through the process of digestion in the food vacuole it comes to the cytoplasm so this you have to write for the absorption what ki the nutrients nutrients ya yeah, digested food it nutrients come in the cytoplasm right now the fourth step is assimilation assimilation is tricky to understand however not much points you have to write for assimilation but still it is tricky to understand what the point is i am taking the green color here for writing the assimilation now you all know that site in the cytoplasm the nutrients they come in the form of, in the process of absorption they are being absorbed in the cytoplasm now in the assimilation what happens the nutrients which are present in the cytoplasm the food which is present in the cytoplasm it is used in the growth of the amoeba and it is used in the respiration because we know that respiration is a process in which the food gets burnt to give out energy so through the respiration the energy it is extracted in the amoeba so food it which is absorbed in the cytoplasm it is utilized in the growth 
and respiration for the extraction of energy and what we have to write in the process of assimilation that on assimilating the food on assimilating the food amoeba grow in size this line first line you have to write ki the absorbed food it is used in the growth and the respiration and second line you have to write that on assimilated the on assimilating the food amoeba grow in size it shows the growth and after that reproduction because in the unicellular organisms the growth is syn synonymous with reproduction as when they attains a certain limit they show the reproduction they divides so after attaining the full growth it divides so it show the reproduction so this you have to write in the assimilation that on assimilating the food amoeba show growth and reproduce and the last step is egestion egestion is what egestion is the step the last step of holozoic mode of nutrition where the undigested food it gets removed so here the undigested food it gathers around the cell membrane undigested food it gathers around the cell membrane right and the cell membrane ruptures and the food material it is out and this process is egestion so amoeba completes its nutrition in the five steps ingestion digestion absorption assimilation and egestion so i have planned to cover up these many points in this video uh, that what is heterotrophic mode of nutrition the types of organisms on the basis of their feeding habits herbivores carnivores and omnivores along with the examples and nutrition in amoeba nutrition is amoeba in amoeba it is good to understand and just uh, you know when you will write the mechanisms when you will write for the steps here just make out the diagram diagrams they will say everything so if you will miss any important point while writing you will get to you know uh, clarify your view through the diagrams as well so this is important to learn right so we will meet in the next upcoming video and uh, if you like uh, the video just share it and let me know in the comments what the queries of yours and how you know what are the topics of your interest so that we can make the another videos we can make some other videos for you right now we are discussing we are making the series of you know life processes we are having the series of lectures for the different chapters of 10th cbsc biology and i am planning for the 9th as well so keep watching the videos just share the videos here right and bye for now have a very good day